Hi ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and birds and everybody, everything that is also watching. Uh, welcome to my pregnancy vlog of week 32 already. Yes guys, we keep the weeks rolling, so week 32 already. And let's just start uh, with all the pregnancy symptoms. Because, <laughs> do you guys remember last pregnancy vlog? And I was fooling around about the constipation, telling you guys, <laughs> I don't have that. But I think I tricked myself in having some because I didn't go to the toilet for a big grocery shopping for in like one and a half days. Okay, and maybe that doesn't sound like a lot, but for me I used to go every half a day. So, <laughs> okay, this is starting to get like a very nasty beginning of my pregnancy vlog, so I'm sorry for that. But um, yeah, right before I made this vlog, maybe I was nervous to talk to you guys about it. But I had to go and run to the toilet. And of course, guess what? As soon as I have to go to the toilet, Mitchell is on there. And he always takes so freaking long, so I had to be waiting and my belly was hurting. And <laughs> finally, I'm one kilogram lighter. So just so you guys know. My uh, next pregnancy symptom is... I'm feeling so tired lately and it's not like I'm tired and I want to go to sleep but it's like my belly and right between my legs it feels like so tired and I told you guys last week also that it feels like I've been exercising over there but I haven't it's just that everybody everything is growing my belly is growing and everything has to get used to that so that makes you feel like your belly is just tired it's so weird um, and also the last thing is, it's kind of sad, but baby is moving way less than it did before because there's just not enough room in there anymore and I can really feel it because my belly is getting so hard everywhere except from very down low. I can really feel that all the marsh bars and everything is uh, sticking there because it feels a little bit softer and as I tell you guys, I'm feeling there like... Yeah, that's where all the Mars and the cake and the pizza go <laughs> on the on the bottom of my belly because it feels a little bit softer, like squishy fat, <laughs> and the rest is all baby and very hard. So that's all for the pregnancy symptoms, and let's start with the weight. You guys know I started with 52 kilograms, and after going to the toilet, <laughs> I just went on the scale, and it said. 63.5 ish kilograms and in pounds I started with 114 and I ended up being around 140 114 140 so that's about the weight gain not too much of gaining but still gaining and my belly is getting bigger and Mitchell is mom she came here and she said oh your belly is so big <laughs> but she hasn't seen me in a long time so yeah that was so funny so Talking about Mitchell's mommy for the exciting moments is yesterday Mitchell's mom and dad they came back from Suriname and it was so nice to see them again and they brought a lot of gifts they brought some clothing oh can you guys hear turbo barking sorry for that but uh, they brought a lot of clothing clothes baby clothes and let me show you guys a whole pile of blankets so many and she made these all themselves she didn't buy them she bought she bought the fabric but she made all of the blankets herself it's so cute with all the different prints and what's so special about some of them because she made this with one of her girlfriends she didn't only make blankets for me because in the family we have three pregnant ladies and some of them are in i believe curacao i'm here in aruba and one of them is in holland because mitchell's mom is going to holland the 21st of november so she made a lot of blankets and she's been knitting them, some of them. And it's like so much work. She puts she put so much work and effort in it and I think it's just gorgeous. So this is one of the blankets. You can use it as a blanket or uh, also to dry your baby. But let me come a little bit closer. Look at the detail. At the detail. I mean... I think that's so cute. I know everybody, not everybody likes the same thing, but this is personally made for our baby boy and I think it's so cute. So I love it. And even I got a gift. <laughs> I told you guys uh, on our other channel that I don't have any flip flops anymore. I lost them, but actually we found them back because the cleaning lady, she hid them away from us uh, at the back of the house. But um, as a surprise 
I got new flip flops from Mitch's mom. We both have the same size, it's size 37 and I adore them. They are so nice and they fit with everything because they are gold and black. I'm in love guys, I'm in love. And Mitchell is in love too because look what he got. <laughs> he got some chips, it's like a hot flavored chips. They make it in Suriname. It's Oh, it's cassava, pepper, sugar, salt and tomato. Just so you guys know. <laughs> but let's continue about the pregnancy and everything. Because what I'm looking forward to is finding a baby boy name. It's so hard guys. And we thought at the first that it was going to be a girl. And we've been thinking about it so much. And we finally had a girl's name. Two girls name actually. And then it was a boy. So we are like, okay, let's put that name aside. And now we have to think of a boy name. So we have very different tastes. I like American names and I like the soft names. Especially names with A, B, C or D. Or sometimes I also like an S. And Mitchell is more of the rough names. The cool, just the rough names. So I like, for example, I like Aiden. But my nephew's name is Caden, so we can't choose it. I like Aiden, I like Orion, I like Noah. And I really love the names with a special meaning behind it. And Mitchell, he's more like, he likes Jackson. He likes Marcus. And he also told me he likes Lee. I mean, <laughs> our last name is Ho Ashu. And if we call our baby boy Lee, it's Lee Ho Ashu. Everybody's going to think that he's, a, he's from China or Japan. <laughs> And then comes this Dutch Ruben guy. That's that's it's kind of funny though. <laughs> but yeah, those are the names he likes. So if you guys have any suggestions or maybe a mix between a little bit rough and also a little bit soft, that's like the two ends, and I want something in between with a nice meaning just for a boy name. And, and we I'm thinking of giving the baby two or three names, so we still have so much to think about. So, guys, help us, help us, I'm looking for your help, please. <laughs> uh, so for now, this was my pregnancy vlog, and I say, let's go outside and do this freaking, freaking belly shot of my enormous belly, and you guys, don't look at my belly button, because there is none anymore, there's no hole, it's just big belly <laughs> so let's go inside come this is the belly from the front my dress was a little bit tight <laughs> the belly from the side the back <laughs> belly from the other side looks like your butt is getting bigger by the day yeah, but that's only because of the Mars. That doesn't have anything to do with the pregnancy. It's <laughs> ice cream, cake, Mars, you name it. And the front. So, if you guys have any tips on baby names, and also I wanted to ask you guys, if you guys have any tips for, like, detergent for baby clothes. Because I know you have the special detergent at the baby stores but they are so expensive i just want a normal brand that's in every supermarket so if you guys have any tips names detergents let me know and i'll see you guys next video bye guys